Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the fourth edition of Weekly Benefit. Your regular speaker, Evangelist Chris Obais of CCC Mala Dalafia. I've come to talk to you about living in peace with mankind. It's very simple. And that's what I want you to have as a watchword this week. Tolerance. It sounds very, very simple, but it's very strong. You know, tolerance is different from forgiveness. If you liking tolerance to forgiveness, then which means we are making a lot of mistakes there. And that's what a lot of people do. When you forgive someone, which means you don't expect that person to repeat such act any longer. And when you have such, which means the mistakes or errors should not be repeated. But tolerance means that you are ready to live with this person with this same attitude. And that is the secret of human existence. If you understand this, then you live with peace with, peace with all men. Tolerance simply means that you are ready to... Con Just look at your gate, my, your megad. If you warn him of a particular error, you will repeat it again. You will repeat the same again. Shows that you are ready to tolerate him because you want to move on. When you tolerate, it makes you to see above human error. It makes you to see above certain other people's weaknesses. Rather, you use, their, you, you use your strength to build their weaknesses and make them a, a better person. And that is secret if you want to live in peace with all men this week. Don't look at your superior. I'm don't look at your superior as maybe he doesn't know. Rather, look at the competencies, your area of competencies you have, and use it to support your boss in your various places of work. And for you, the, the boss, why do you call him your your worker, your employee? Because you know he doesn't really have that where we are. So you use your own strength to manage his own weaknesses. And if you notice very well, Joseph, Joseph did not take advantage of his brothers. He rather used his spirit, God's given talent, which God has given him, to do what? To, to prepare the way for them. And in the days of famine, you can see what really happened. They enjoyed. And that is the same way I want to tell you the secret for your existence now, forever, now that you don't have any problem, is to learn to tolerate one another. And this week, I, will, I pray the Holy Spirit to come into your life, direct you, allow you to be able to tolerate things that you've not been tolerating before, to be able to accept things in line with his, your wisdom, to give you that spirit of humility to guide your steps aright. And as you move on this week, I know the wisdom will be there for you. You will not cross paths wrongly, negatively in your activities. Thank you and do have a great week. Thank <laughs> you.